Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You keep information about the companies and people from whom you purchase goods and services in the vendor list. You can access the vendor list by choosing lists from the menu bar and then selecting the vendor list command. You keep supply vendors, utility companies, subcontractors, and more in this list, so it tends to be one of the larger lists that you maintain. QuickBooks then uses the information you enter to fill out purchase orders, bills, and checks as you make purchases. You can add vendors, edit vendor information, delete vendors, inactivate vendors, and receive reports about your vendors from this window. If you'd like to perform one of these tasks, simply click the Vendor button in the lower left corner of the screen, and then select the command you want to perform from the pop-up menu that appears. So for example, to add a new vendor, you can just roll up to the New command after clicking the Vendor button and give that a click. Creating a vendor is very similar to creating a customer. So on the Address Info tab, you can click into the Company Name box and just go ahead and type in the company name. And then you can put in a contact person You can fill in the address information by using either the address details, like we did with the customer, or by just simply typing it into the box provided. You can then input the contact name, the phone, the fax, an alternate phone, an alternate contact, or an email address. We also have a new box for print on checks as, and that's because if you have multiple vendors, you can't have them have the same exact vendor name. So let's say you had maybe two or three uh, franchises that you worked for, like McDonald's, where basically you would write out the check the same way. However, you can't have each one have the exact same name in your vendor list. So one might be McDonald's Southside, McDonald's Northside, and that's what you'd have to put in the vendor name box up at the top. However, when you print a check, you'd probably just want to put McDonald's. So that's available in case you have that kind of a scenario occur. On the Additional Info tab, you can input the account number that you have with that vendor into the account number box. And just like customers, you can also categorize vendors for reporting purposes. You can also specify your terms with that vendor, your credit limit with that vendor, and the tax ID number if the vendor is a subcontractor. Also, if they are a subcontractor and they're eligible for a 1099, you can check vendor eligible for 1099. Then you can record whatever custom information you wanted to track about this particular vendor by filling in the custom fields, which we're going to look at in a later lesson. Now once you'd set up the information, just click OK to add that vendor to the list. Also, you can select any one of the vendors and edit them by clicking on them, clicking the Vendor button, and then choosing Edit Vendor to bring up the Edit Vendor window and you can also delete and inactivate them by likewise choosing the vendor out of the list and then clicking the vendor button and deleting them or choosing make vendor inactive. Now you can only delete vendors that you've never had an actual transaction with. Once you complete a transaction with a vendor you're no longer capable of deleting them as that affects your financial information so your only choice is to make them inactive which hides them in the list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.